A few months ago, we were there as the first class graduated from the Keystone State Challenge Academy. And today, we're getting a firsthand look at how those Pennsylvania teens spent their time in the program designed to steer them onto the right track. Andre Thomas Jr. reports. And to work with kids that, that need a second chance, um, a little bit of a reset. I mean, it's an honor to be here. It truly is a blessing. It's a program that improves the lives of at-risk teens that live in Pennsylvania. For 22 weeks, cadets are on a set schedule and get classroom learning, achieve self-discipline, access to educational resources, as well as a place to sleep. I could think of three or four or five and sometimes ten kids in some of my school districts that could have benefited from a program like ours that we didn't have when I was in education. 125 cadets joined the program in January hoping to push the reset button. This is the second class going through the program and with Keystone State Challenge Academies in 40 other states, it won't be the last. I've noticed that I'm also like growing as a person too. Like I'm becoming like better than what I was before coming here. Cadets wake up every day at 6 a.m. to follow a set schedule of activities with no cell phone, no TV, or you access to the rest of the me. world. And adjusting is difficult for some. People that come here, they like want to be here, some, some people, but other people, it takes a little longer for them to realize like they need this program. There are 12 weeks left in this program. Applications will soon open for the next set of cadets to join the Keystone State Challenge Academy. And if they want to make a change, give us an opportunity because it, we, we see amazing things from our kids. In Lebanon County, I'm Andre Thomas Jr., ABC 27 News.